today we are going to study about the iot architecture so there are different architectures the main architectures are three there is a one m2m architecture iot wf architecture and simplified iot architecture so there are seven other uh, architectures as well but we are mainly focusing on one m2m the three architectures that we are going to study the first one is the one m2m architecture so one m2m architecture is uh, actually a three layer architecture and this was standardized or it was developed by etsc that is european uh, telecommunication standardized institute or etsi so etsi along with 12 other um, uh, organizations developed this 1m2m architecture in 2012 okay so it was uh, developed by etsi along with 12 other standardized uh, organizations and developed it in 2012 so etsi was uh, actually formed uh, something called as one uh, sorry m2m so m2m means machine to machine so one m2m architecture the full form of m2m is machine to machine so it is a machine to machine architecture so etsi developed uh, m2m uh, in 2008 so it is actually was a body that was functioning under etsi so uh, etsi developed uh, m2m in 2008 and etsi along with organizations developed the architecture or standardized architecture in 2012 so as i have told you the m2m architecture is actually a three layer architecture so there are mainly three layers in uh, one m2m architecture so they are a services layer then there is uh, an application layer and then there is a network layer so application layer service layer and network layer so that is the order okay uh, so application layer is the topmost or the uh, base layer of uh, the m1 m2m architecture and it is followed by the services layer and then network layer okay so this is the uh, three layers of uh, one m2m architecture so the first layer is the service layer sorry uh, it is not the service layer it is actually the application layer the first layer of one m2m architecture is an application layer so application layer as you might know the iot architectures are or iot devices are heavily application oriented so the application layer is actually specifying the applications of um, the uh, the or the devices the it actually uh, is talking about the protocols or application layer protocols that helps to connect these devices okay so the application layer protocols are built for uh, the <coughs> home applications then automobile applications then energy applications so this is the application layer so this is actually industry specific uh, the application layers are uh, layer protocols or the application layer is actually industry specific uh, and uh, these uh, and they have actually their own set of data models and as a result the application layer is the first layer of iot architecture because the iot devices are highly application specific uh, it is very easy to understand so, uh, suppose you have an iot device say example a smart refrigerator you cannot use an iot device for any other application than the specified application you cannot really use an uh, iot uh, refrigerator or a uh, smart refrigerator for watching movies you cannot do that you have you should have a smart um, uh, smart tv for watching movies so it is actually highly application oriented so as a result uh, we have the application layer the second layer is called the service layer so the service layer is actually can be viewed as a horizontal layer that is built uh, on top of the service layer so it has it is actually built as a horizontal layer that is built on top of the vertical application layer the main uh, the uh, the layers of application layer are there is a common service layer and then technology and protocols 
technologies and protocols layer then there is a communication network layer and then there is devices and hardwares so actually the application layers are can be viewed as what it can be viewed as uh, horizontal layers on top of the vertical uh, the, the vertical uh, service sorry the service layer can be viewed as uh, uh, as the uh, sorry the or uh, the uh, services layer can be viewed as horizontal layers on top of the application layers so the main application layers are there is a uh, common service layer then then uh, the technologies and protocols and then there is a communication network layer then the devices and hardware so this is what this is actually the second layer that is the service layer so this is the service layer sorry this is actually the service layer and this is what the application okay and the third one is called the network layer so network layer is what do it is actually doing so the second the final layer or the topmost layer is called as the network layer so what is the network layer doing is that in the network layer is actually used for connecting these things or connecting these nodes or these sensors and actuators so why it makes sense right because you have an iot device there an iot device simply sitting as a position is of no use at all there is no use of an iot layer sitting simply there we have to connect it with other layers or we have to connect it with other uh, sensors and actuators and everything and, and network and all for for what for the useful impl implications or implementation of these nodes so that is the reason why we have a network layer so network layer is this uh, application layer and on top of which is the service layer and these this layer is actually connected with other devices so other devices it is actually connected with other devices so these other devices uh, so this uh, communication infrastructure actually includes things like uh, a wireless mesh communication there is actually a wireless mesh technologies point to point point to multi point and then there is wired devices so you know what is mesh technology so mesh technology is actually a lot of things it's it is actually embodied as an mesh architecture and then you have point to point then there is one device will be connected to another device and point to multi point is that our device is connected to multiple other devices and then we have the wired devices the wired devices are actually used for wired connections okay so this is actually uh, the different network uh, network architectures that we use so uh, basically one m2m architecture was developed by etsi in uh, 2012 and then it includes three layers the application layer the services layer and the network layer so the application layer is the bottom or the first layer of uh, one m2m architecture it is mainly used for home automobile and energy and then on top of the application layer we have something called as the service layer service layer acts as a horizontal layer uh, uh, on top of the uh, the application layer and it has got the common services the technologies and protocols that we use and then there is the co uh, communication networks and the devices and the hardware so all these are the layers that we come across an application layer so what is next is the network layer so what is the network layer doing is that it is actually interconnecting the nodes interconnecting the nodes uh, in an iot infrastructure so uh, it is actually interconnected using mesh technology or point to point technology point to multi point technology or wired devices or wired connections